Well, since I just made a video of that uh, Hats diesel engine, I talked about making a generator set out of it. I thought I'd uh, show the uh, generator that I mentioned in that video. Um, like I said, a friend from school uh, gave this to me. He found it in, in uh, his dad's shed. Um, it was on a homemade wooden base. Had a Model 23 Briggs uh, belted to it. Um, it appears it hasn't been used in quite some time. It's been sitting a while. The Briggs is in good shape. Not sure what I'm going to do with that. Um, it's a signal core generator. I mean, it's obviously a homemade set with the Briggs on it and everything on a wooden base. Um, moisture and fungus resistant tip treated back in 53 uh, here's the manufacturer's plate Leland alternator 22 amps 2500 watts 120 volt 1800 rpm pretty nice unit now I have another one of these uh, generators on a, a military gen set uh, from 39 that has a ZZ Briggs on it but uh, it's got I, I didn't check the model against this one but they look identical so I'm assuming it's just the earlier version so I already pulled this off the uh, brush gear cover Get a look inside there. You're gonna need to come all the way apart and have everything cleaned, which is, you know, what I expected. It turns over, but it sounds dry, and you can see the the slip rings are all dirty and everything. They're not scored really bad or anything. And the commutator looks all right. Just dirty. A couple uh, small problems. You can see some rust got to this brush holder here. This spring here has, is supposed to hook onto the end there. And it just rusted away and snapped off. That's just a little lever arm that keeps the keeps uh, steady pressure on the commutator. You can see. You can see this one here. Just the spring pulls on this lever and pushes down on the brush. No big deal. But yeah, full cleaning be in order. It's a nice four pole unit, of course. One thing interesting that I noticed, uh, you know, you'd think just given the shape, you'd have one, two, three, and then four poles. Now well, they're they're offset a little bit. I mean, it's just a design, I guess, but interesting when I saw it. Let's see where they are. There's a pole there, a pole there. They're about maybe 10 degrees rotated from what I would what I, what I would have thought. Just a little observation, interesting observation. Just had these two wires coming out. There was this little Wang Gang box on it with a 15 amp receptacle. Looks like somebody put that on there. Somebody added that on. But uh, on the the other set that I have, the military set, there's these two threaded holes, and there's a there's a little toolbox on the, on the top of this mounted, um, where they would keep spare parts and whatnot. But uh, yeah, it should clean up fine. Now on. Uh, on the older set that I have, the one from 1939, there's uh, actually manual greasers on the bearings, and there's one here and uh, one here where those caps are. Uh, I don't know why they're capped off. I guess uh, later they, uh, I guess in '59 or in the '50s when this one was made, 
they decided to cap the bearings off. Not sure why they would do that, but I'll see what kind of bearings they are and if if there are serviceable bearings, you know, not sealed, then I'll uh, pull those caps out and I'll put greasers back in, like the older style had. Let's see, looks like a nice nest or something going on in there. Yeah. So. That'll, that'll go with that hats engine there. Pretty neat thing.